So yes, welcome Fabrizio, the, the director and filmmaker of Mr. Teddy is Angry. Again, sorry about the false start there, guys. We had seems to be one of those nights, but we got there in the end. Fabrizio, thank you very much for being part of Malta Indie Shorts. Um, tell us a bit about the inspiration for Mr. Teddy is Angry. How did that come? How did the film come about? Um, first of all, thank you for having me, and you know, and well done for um, this event. I feel it's very important to promote, you know, local um, the local industry. Is most of it, you know, it's really done with small uh, budgets. In terms of inspiration, it came after um, my first animation, which was Filthla. And I had a lot of problems. I faced a lot of problems in terms of storytelling. Um, so in these terms, I was really looking forward for something that was a bit more linear, a bit more straightforward. I was, I was sort of inspired from um, the Teddy of my son, to also make a small appearance there at, uh, yeah. at, at the end. That's, that's his at Teddy Bear, sorry. Yeah. Um, it was done with the support of Scrimold, a small fund and uh, a new tenant. A new talent fund, and the idea was also, you know, sort of to help me out a little bit, you know, to to work a little bit, to improve a little bit the craft, so to speak. And so my idea was, uh, I started out as a visual artist, and how do I make my transition from a visual artist working in a sort of the traditional medium of, you know, old paintings, drawing like pencil on uh, pencil on paper to one which is a digital. And this fund, you know, helped me out in that, in that respect. So mostly it's done in a 2D, it's all a 2D. Everything is done in um, frame by frame. So this one, more than story, it's really focused more to understand a little bit how, how a few things um, work. Mm -hmm. um, frame by frame, I was sort of inspired. I took it from inspiration from how the old um, animation, the old with, um, with all Disney, mm -hmm. Disney um, products, you know, drawing frame by frame, you sort of. Um, you do your own animation. And so you, you said you were a visual artist before, so what what inspired you wanting to make the leap from traditional still paintings into the animated world? It was always something that I wanted to do as a child, so it was sort of one of those, um, you know, like a bucket list that I wanted to take. So I did film a little bit like that, with that sort of hobby, and I struggled a lot in terms of um, getting a lot of things right. Um, but I was very much surprised surprised by the support that I received. Um, I formed the Antifa Studio. Mm -hmm. It was actually a bit, a bit after after the animation. It was mainly there to support um, the animation, not the other way around. I found a lot of support, and now I'm sort of more dedicating myself to, to it. And this year, I will have my third animation somewhere, again, with some support of uh, from Screen Malta. So again, um, it's uses Malta as a Background location. So it's an animated like, film called Yes, Samuel. yes, yes. And it's yeah. basically, you know, it takes a lot from that in terms of technique and just tries to improve um, a little bit everywhere. I have now a small team of five, of five, of five individuals. And especially in my respect, I will be able to focus on the thing that I like doing the most the artwork, the background artwork. And apart from that, I also have a graphic novel. Coming up again using Malta, but going a little bit back in time, 1813, and using uh, um, the, um, the creature Asarangu, uh, part of the mythological creature. So I'm also trying to um, revamp sort of uh, multi sport. Okay, so, so it's like a move, almost a fantasy element. Yes, like yes, mythology. yes, yes, yes. Okay. With, um, it's sort of close between fantasy and closely to sci fi, so some, I, know, I quite like the show. So. Okay, cool. Well, let's get some feedback from the audience. Any comments, questions, um, general thoughts about Mr. Teddy is angry? Mike? Yeah, I just, I just wish it would be a full length. I thought that's really good. That's really fun. <laughs> like you want to see like a feature like? I, I just wish it would be longer. So yeah. Great. Well, actually, actually, it was intended at the beginning. I had just conceived it as a one minute short, just to make it like a very short thing because um, again, again, with that influence of film, like that I just wanted to do something a little bit more linear, and, you know, it wasn't very complicated in terms of story, and just focus a little bit on getting, you know, I mean, the frames and the artwork. So, yeah, it was actually a bit. So, that is actually the feature of the, <laughs> of the edit. So, it already grew it's away already from your original yeah. vision. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Mike. Uh, other? Yes. Um, I just want to know, sorry, I'm not sure. Uh, what makes it better, so 
No, it's on the hands of a four-year-old. It's on the hands of a three-year-old, four-year-old yeah, kid. So I'm assuming. <laughs> I think it receives <laughs> plenty of abuse. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's trauma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know. I thought it was like uh, something funny. Uh, again, I'm also comparing it a little bit my previous animation, which was. In terms of storytelling, maybe a little bit more um, draining in terms of um, as, as a story. So I wanted something a little bit more lighter, also something where you know just people have you know just you know, this uh, pepper of laughs so that we much more enjoy. It. And so the specific the, idea of taking your your child's <laughs> toy and, and making it go on a yeah. giant rampage through Valletta, What what where did that actually come from? Um. I don't know. I think it was like just. Are you a fan of the Marvel and the, the good Godzilla type Yeah, and yeah, so the well. whole, um, anime, the whole animation thing. And, you know, the whole thing of Ballet also with my new one somewhere. I just also wanted to place a little bit, you know, more than what's more at the center. Like, you know, what I sort of, you know, everything is so happy, you know, it's like maybe, you know, New York, Tokyo, you know, where it's, you know, more, you know, so let's play. So let's destroy also a little bit Ballet and see how it goes. And, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see how it goes. So, you know, destroy Ballet. Uh, and this one, um, with my new one, it will have, um, I took out all DC, and now it's sort of like a, I replaced DC with, uh, um, with a massive, a desert. A desert? Yeah. Oh, right. So it's a more of a dystopian yeah, accent. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, more comments, questions? Yes, gentlemen. Or is there something to film? I think you like that, but but maybe I'll, I'll give them another year just to assess <laughs> assess, <laughs> assess the whole thing. But like when he sees it, does he sort of register that it's sort of him at the end? Yeah, it was, it's, it's, it's like the difference is four when I finished it. It was three, and he was following it like around okay. um, the whole. The editing and um, used to and sort of you know was mainly I draw. Um, I start off on the iPad and then I switch on the PC and once here comes here you will see what I'm doing. And now he's also getting a little bit more into drawing and painting. So usually Sundays, uh, most of the time at least, we just spend some time you know drawing together. And it's quite interesting. Also learning um, at least getting some ideas of, of how they sort of um, put the paint you know. And, uh, Perceive things. It's, it's quite interesting. Now we sort of have a little bit more of a shared studio. Wow. Well, it's quite interesting. So maybe he'll follow it as far as what's that? I don't know. I mean, it's up to him. Thank you. Nice question. Any other questions, comments? Yes, Miriam. Um, earlier you said that you are inspired by your film. Because it played a bit of, a, of an influence in more than one respect. But, sorry, sir, because I interrupted. Uh, for those of us who are not familiar with the experience painting a little bit. Yeah, most of us haven't seen it. Uh, yes, um, so, it yeah. takes place, um, again, you know, it's a bit um, related with my graphic novel of using Maltese work. It uses the legend of Pilfla, and it was sort of um, born out of sort of, um, how do you say it, a bit uh, out of an, what do you say, it, sort of the evilness that was. Uh, Surrounding the Mahanova region, and I sort of let a little bit build a bit of a story there about uh, a woman who loses her son, and then she goes there to find him, and uh, it grows from there. But as a story, it took a little bit quiet out of me. So with this one, I wanted something a little bit. Um, I wanted to focus less on the story, sort of in that respect, and focus more on um, on the actual um, animation, that's the respect from you know. Like the background, more of establishing more a personal style, and maybe you know, uh, trying to understand a little bit a few things, um, how they work better. Because one thing that I really enjoyed was when it was, came a little bit at the end, but also you know how to work with uh, musicians. Um, this was his, uh, the last track. It was um, by by Owen J. And now we're renewing our per partnership with my new animation, so you know. He will be designing um, the whole sound and music. It was quite a nice experience. But it also, I, I sort of had to focus a little bit less on this story to focus more on the technique. So, so now with the third, I'm also sort of combining the two. I'm sort of a bit more confident now with the technique and the respect that now I can also delegate some work to others. For instance, when it came, when it comes to the line, when it comes to the color. 
I can keep the things that I, I really enjoy the most, the main props, the, the, the actual art is around me, yeah, that's something I really enjoy doing. And I also got someone else, for instance, to do a 3D modeling, because it, it also includes like a small uh, space, spacecraft. So I also had the, uh, had the opportunity also to find to commission someone. Um, also with the music, now I had a little bit more time, uh, a little bit more funding, to work a little bit better with him. So it was a very good um, project in, in that respect. And Phil was also animated, right? Just to be clear. Yes, yes. And that's especially the idea. Uh, the major influence, I would say, of Phil Phil is that I was really surprised by the support that I received. I didn't really like it. I did something sort of to pick a box. And then I found a lot of support. Uh, but also, I feel that something that I, that's something I really enjoy as a you know animator. That the, the moment that you do um, maybe unlike as a visual art, where you start a little bit more in, in this respect, is that as an animated moment or as a filmmaker, the moment that you do a film, it's immediately international. You start, you start to film festivals, get accepted. And it has this sort of more of an international feeling rather than being sort of grounded, sort of local, you know, and into my structure of it. And it's something that. Um, so it's sort of the influence a bit broader, a bit more in that interface. Thanks, Marion. Um, any more final questions? Comments? Someone perhaps further at the back? Okay, well, Fabrizio, let's give him another round of applause. Thank you very much. Well done. Well done. Thank you very much.